Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to test for goodness of fit or testing for equality of proportions. So let's get started. And we're back. In hypothesis testing, there are many applications that you can use for test for statistical significance here. All the way from Z-test, T-test, chi-square, and uh, F-test here. In today's video, we'll be focusing primarily on how to use chi-square testing here. In particular, the most commonly utilized uh, application for chi-square test, or chi-square test, as mentioned, is test of good as fit and test of independence. So for goodness of fit, we're trying to find if the proportions of different categories are similar or not here. So let's take a look at, uh, let's use the data set to better illustrate our uh, the example or the application here. So here we have a sample data set. So we're talking of different types of houses here. So we have four types of houses from single detached to single attached, duplex and townhouse. Now you can see Based on the frequency here, some types of houses are more preferred than others. Uh, duplex is the preferred and the least preferred is townhouses here. But in goodness of fit, we can stipulate or say that uh, based on the frequencies here, they're somewhat close to one another. So there's no clarity, so to speak, or a big gap that you can say is one significantly better than the other. And we can determine that with chi-square distribution here or test of goodness of fit. So we need to create six columns here. Uh, first is the frequency or we call that the observed frequency. Next is we need to create or uh, find the expected frequency, hypothesized proportion, the difference, square difference, and uh, and so forth. So we need six all in all. So we have first, now I've created the other five already. So for hypothesized proportion here, so when you say proportion, the total amount should be equals to one. So depending on the number of categories that you have here, you have to divide it equally. So in our case, we have four categories, four types of houses. So you have to divide one by four. So if you, equal, if you distribute it equally, that should be 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25. Okay, and then we'll fill in the rest in a bit. So in our hypothesis steps, if you still remember, there are four primary steps. So whether it's Z-test, T-test, F-test, or chi-square test, you still follow the same principle here. Step one, you identify the uh, null and alternative hypothesis. Step two is the level significance. Three is the test statistic, which in this case is chi-square. And then four, what is your conclusion here? Now, for our hypothesis here for step one, uh, we're trying to uh, compare if the proportions are similar or not. So it would look something like this. So in this case, since we have four proportions, so proportion one, Proportion 2 and Proportion T and Proportion 4 are similar. And for alternative hypothesis, the four proportions are not similar. So this is what we're trying to test here. So next is we have step 2. So we need to identify the level significance since it's not given. So we'll assume it's 0 0.05 or 0 0.05. Okay. And then step three is now identifying the test statistic here. So since our test statistic here is uh, using the chi-square here, so we need to uh, solve the rest of the columns here. So to determine the expected frequency, you need to determine first the total observed frequency and multiply it by each individual hypothesized proportion here. So, if you see here, the total observed frequency is 100. So, you multiply the expected frequency of single detached with its hypothesized proportion, multiply it to its total observed frequency here. Since I'm going to use that uh, total observed frequency of 100, so might as well lock the cell by pressing or selecting F4. You can see a dollar 
symbol attached to the column and row total. So you can see here we need both the row and column as well to be locked. So once we've done that, so it would be 25 here and we do the same for the rest. So obviously the expected frequency if you multiply to 100 should be 25 for each one. So the next step now is to get the difference. So as the name suggests, you subtract the observed frequency with the expected frequency. Press the wrong sign. There you go. Should be five. And if we do the same, we'll get different values here from positive to negative here. So next now is we're going to get the squared. So simply select uh, the column F here, the cell beside it and put the current symbol raised to the second power. So five becomes 25, and we do the same for the rest. So for the last column here, you divide the square difference divided by the expected frequency. Since we already have solved the square difference, so you simply select the cell divided by the expected frequency, which we already did and solve under column E. So that's divided by 25. So you do the same for the rest and then we get the total here so you add all of the uh, sum difference divided by the expected frequency you get a total of 10 that would be your test statistic or chi-square test statistic value so that's the value so we need to determine how many categories do we have so going back to the data set here we have four here so we need to determine also the degrees of freedom and to determine that you only subtract the number of categories minus one since we have four four minus one becomes three so to solve for the p value before that so let's write here so for our test statistic the value here is equals to 10 then for our final step here or step four sorry. so for the conclusion here we need the p-value uh, to solve for the p-value so you simply select the function formula chi -dest, or chi -dest, however you want to call it so if you notice inside the parentheses you're being asked for the test statistic the x value and your degrees of freedom which we already did so either you type in the value 10 or select the test statistic 10 comma and select the degrees of freedom or type in the value 3 and then press enter so you have a p-value of 0 0.0186 so what's the implication here so if our p-value which is 0 0.0186 is it less than equal to 0 0.05 and based on that uh, your conclusion is to reject the null hypothesis so what's the implication here so meaning the different categories from the types of houses from single detached to townhouses and duplex indicates that there are different types of uh, houses so meaning the difference between 15 to 35 to 20 and even 30 are you know different from one another which is uh, proven based on our test statistic here using uh, what do you call this uh, using uh, test of goodness fit here so hopefully that was helpful for everyone uh, if you enjoy these types of video or you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button also, you can leave your comments down below to suggest other topics for future videos. For more guide tutorials and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.